Hi, Cotty community. This is Daniel, head of product at Cotty, and today I want to share with you our January 30th update uh, from the R&D. So let's get to it. Uh, there's a couple of things in this update that I want to share with you. I want to touch on briefly on uh, the testing that is going on with our new testnet, um, also on stress testing on the new testnet. Um, I want to talk about a couple of developer tools, namely our Remix plugin and our MetaMask Snap. So let's get to it. Starting with uh, testnet testing, as you know, last week we released our upgraded uh, testnet. We've seen uh, great activity with already hundreds of contracts being deployed, a ton of active wallets and a ton of transactions happening on the network. So we're very happy about that. Uh, a lot of the testing that we've been doing on testnet has to do with all the tooling, uh, like the SDKs, like all the uh, examples that we have. Uh, so we've been uh, testing that everything is working properly and all the uh, developer tooling uh, to support you while you're building. Uh, so we've uh, focused quite a bit on, on time of that uh, in addition to stress testing. So in this uh, stress testing front, um, uh, we're doing a couple of things. We want to do uh, TPS uh, testing to ensure the reliability of the network. And we're doing this with a couple of different objects. So we are uh, testing TPS for normal objects. So that means unencrypted, let's say ERC uh, tokens like ERC20s, ERC721s. ERC um, and we wanna see uh, kind of the behavior and the performance of that uh, in the network. And the second thing that we're testing with is with private uh, objects. So all the things that Cadi allows you to deploy privately onto Cadi, like your private ERC20s, your private contracts, and we're also stress uh, testing on that to make sure that uh, everything looks good. And so far, the, the performance has been uh, very good. We're very pleased with the uh, performance of the upgraded testnet. And uh, we've tested this under many conditions uh, with hundreds of accounts. Uh, uh, and what we want to see is that the average block time stays where it needs to be. And we want to see that the performance of the network is not degraded. Uh, so that's been going very well and uh, that continues on uh, through the next couple of weeks. Um, let's talk about the Remix plugin. So as you know, um, a couple of months ago, we released the Remix plugin for DevNet. And uh, now that our upgraded uh, testnet has been released, we want to make the necessary updates so the Remix plugin works on uh, our new testnet. So as you can see here, the um, the plugin allows you to uh, onboard the um, account all from the browser. It allows you to interact with the faucet from, from the browser, and it uh, allows you as well to compile and deploy uh, contracts uh, all within Remix. So it's very convenient, and uh, I'll be sharing more on that front very soon, but we're working hard to get this to work with uh, Testnet. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is the MetaMask Snap. So we've been working uh, on a MetaMask Snap development, and um, if you know Snaps, the Snaps are um, an extension to MetaMask. So let's say if you are a protocol that wants to add certain functionality that MetaMask does not offer uh, natively, you can use this concept of Snaps. Um, and it works very well. It kind of has two components at a high level. Um, it has a companion app, which is basically, you can imagine that like a web app that kind of looks and feel like uh, the native uh, MetaMask experience and it allows you to do a number of things. Um, so what we want to do is allow users to onboard the uh, account. Uh, when you onboard to Cadi, so you know you have to uh, kind of create an uh, AES key, which is the key that you're gonna to use to interact with the network. So you're going to be uh, able to onboard with uh, the MetaMask Snap, uh, with the companion app more specifically. And then um, the Snap itself will allow you to do a couple of things. Uh, as you know, when you deploy an uh, encrypted object to Cadi, let's say an ERC-20, if you wanted to view this uh, ERC-20 with your regular MetaMask, well, you won't see uh, anything because the regular MetaMask does not have the ability to decrypt those objects on the Cadi network. So with the MetaMask uh, Snap, what, what we're doing is we are uh, coding that ability into the Snap where you're able to sign transactions with your AES key. So let's say if you want to view encrypted balances of your tokens or uh, encrypted uh, NFTs, you're going to be able to do this natively within the SNAP. Uh, so we're very excited. We're in the middle of uh, development of the SNAP. We have some great progress and I'll be sharing more on that soon. 
Uh, and that is it for this update. Uh, we'll be sure to keep you posted in the coming weeks in the progress of the things that I talked about in this update, as, as well as new and exciting things that we'll be working on. Uh, as always, if you want to get involved in the conversation, please feel free to reach us on Discord or Telegram, and we'll be glad to chat. And until the next time, stay cotty.